Welcome to Satisfactory, my name is Nilaus and today we are going to look at nuclear power. So I've decided to do this in a bit of a different way than what I've done in the previous episodes. In the previous episodes I've been constructing things sort of gradually, but it for two reasons I'm going to do it more as a showcase today than as a uh, build along. The reason is that first of all there are many steps to the nuclear power process. Secondly, my, my builds are now starting to take the same form. Drones in, get into buildings, drones out. And as, as long as these builds are going to be exactly the same, then it less point in sort of standing there building the same thing because honestly, it's going to look the same. Putting down the drone ports, putting down the um, putting down the, the machines and going back into the drone ports. So it's much more interesting to look at sort of the process. At least I think so. Wow, this is a very lush golden orange yellow ish color it actually looks more i don't know vibrant than usual i don't know maybe i'm just more awake than usual so uh that's why we're going to do it let's means let's start looking at how the nuclear power works in this game and and i look at it from this perspective that's kind of weird but it it's it ends with we want to get these uranium fuel rods we're going to work on uranium fuel not plutonium plutonium is way way more complicated and not something we will uh, be making here so we're going to use the uranium fuel rods these are being consumed and one of these is being consumed every five minutes in a nuclear power plant Nu one nuclear power plant produces 2500 2, megawatts of power so basically one of these is one of these per minute Oh, you can actually just look at this. One of these products here will produce 0 0.4 per minute. And 0 0.4 per minute is two nuclear power plants. So if you have this process running at sort of one to one ratio, the 0 0.4 output, then you can power five gigawatts of power, 500, 5,000 megawatts of power. So that's kind of going to be kind of what we want. If you look at the difference here, if I look at my inputs and outputs, this is obviously better in terms of utilization of uranium but i actually don't think uranium will be a bottleneck i think the what i'm what i'm building here is not sort of something that will be gigantic i want to build for uh, 12 nuclear power plants that's uh, 30 gigawatts of power so that's a pretty decent size but not like uh, something that's super massive let's um see so i'm going to be skipping this one and going for this function so we have the encased industrial beams we have the electromagnetic do we have no we don't so we need to make electromagnetic rods and i go to the codex here for the encased uranium cells there's a very difficult one with blenders and sulfuric acid or there's a very simple one here this is the alternate one with only solids in a manufacturer and this is where we get the uranium in we have silica and sulfur are actually not part of the network so that's one of the things that uh, that kind of bugged me when i started it was like oh even though we have these built these things we've not put them into a network that's uh, easily solvable. And then we have, of course, we need to mine the uranium. We need to put silica and sulfur into the network. We need to uh, make the production of the encased, in, uh, encased uranium cell. We need to make electromagnetic control rods. We need to make the fuel rods. We make the nuclear power. We need to make the waste. So there's a ton of things we need to do. One of the first things, though, is uh, the silica and... Uh, I've learned my lesson here. I need to be 100% topped up when uh, doing stupid things out in the world when flying because I'm not a good flyer. There. So first, silica and sulfur. We actually do have a location for it. And let's go. Because it's actually right here. Oh, I need to stop breaking now if I want to make it. There, good. Whee! And we do a little suicide burn here. And land gently. Switch back. So this is going to be, you can see down here, that one is our first sulfur facility that we used for our compacted fuel going all the way over and up here and going all the way back to the base. Pretty crazy. Uh, that was a one hell of an infrastructure build just to get the sulfur. But at this point, now I'm just going to be splitting it off at this point, grabbing some of it here. i am updated these to the fastest they can be, and you can see the belts are full. They will go in here and fill up. My 
beloved drone here is now taking 900. So clearly something is being consumed. Silica is also pretty simple because we have quartz over on this side. If you also remember back in the days, we found the sulfur that is, no, the quartz that is, let's actually scan it so it becomes easier. I'm working in this base most of the time. So I might be more familiar. Maybe you know it as well. That one, it went up to our build here and then go all the way back for the crystal oscillators that we can see over here. But now we just bring it up here for a very simple build, raw quartz to silica, silica to a production facility. Awesome. Now we have the two first things. That's good. Let's uh, look at our build here and uh, try to figure out where we are. We are where we then are in our f process here. That was some of the ingredients for this one. So now we have silica, sulfur and quick wire available. And then the only thing we need is now uranium. So let's find uranium. If we um, if we scan for uranium, we, it's going to take quite a while to get there. Uh, let me see. How do I? Okay, auto save. I need to get up here. Or down. No, 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 no. I actually need to get down. Someone had the foresight to actually do this. Nice. Floof. There was a uh, bling there, right up there. That's the closest one. It's unfortunately an impure one. So it's, uh, yeah, it's impure, but it's gonna have to do. Impure means that if you put a tier three, you can see some disgusting, disgusting absurdity up here. Love it. Uh, if we use an impure, we can use a tier three miner with turbo motors and stuff. And in that, that one, we can actually get 300 uranium per minute out. And I just did some calculations and that is plenty for our needs. Uh, we can definitely make more, but I don't think there's a point to it. So let's go here. Boom. <clears throat> so this is how we go up to our facility. I think I just switched to my hazmat suit just in case, you know, there might be some toxic things up here. And I really like this also, again, this is a bit of an infrastructure build. If you've been following my my playthroughs on Twitch for the, sort of the same world, then you can maybe you can remember we did some exploration because we've done every single uh, hard drive we can find in the map. We went out here, built some ladders of craziness to get all the way up here in an earlier state. But today we're gonna go even further. One of the really cool things about this location when you get all the way up is because I've turned off the fog in this game, then you can see everything, everything out here. These builds, the drone hop and stuff, such, uh, I don't know how much further, is that, the yeah, that's the last bit. Okay, so here, oh, I really want to go out there. I'm going to go, I'm going to go out there just to give a, get a sense of it. And here we have our uranium mining facility. It doesn't do much but it does do something. Here, we are going to have a Mark III miner, a tier three miner, and with fully shattered, I don't know, 300 per minute, it just goes really straightforward into a drone port. So we have a drone port here. This is again, a passive drone port. So it's just standing here ready. That means the drones will have to find a way to get up here. And I'm just going to go a bit away so I don't get too much toxicity. It is kind of radioactive up here because of the amount we have in the drone port. And now we're safe. Then I'm gonna do this one. Because this is a pretty good vantage point to actually take a look at our base before we jump down again. Whoop. So this is, from here we can see pretty much all of our base. Maybe we should switch to this mode. All right, we're just gonna look at this part over here. If we look at it, this is the furthest part away. I can't do any cursor on the screen, but the, in the middle, that's our coal power plant that we built. We have, uh, that's the rotor build. Uh, this is sort of my main base, my old main base. And we have down there, it, by behind the arch is all our batteries. And where we had our original hub, we move over towards this side. And uh, the one that we have sort of in focus in the middle right now is, that's the battery build, the bane of our entire build you can see how many drones there are three drones hovering above the the battery build not great but it is what it is that's a lot aluminium aluminium and plastic behind it and then our fuel plant that we built as well and so then we come over with our long connection here 
And let me just zoom out of this, maybe go out of uh, build mode. Then we can look at it. Down here we have our heat sinks and copper sheets, our supercomputers, our drone hub, our beautiful, lovely drone hub. Here we have AI limiters and that we're gonna go to there just in a second. Down here we have cooling systems and fused fuse cells. Let's go to, let's actually see if we can jump down to that one. I think we can do that. What could possibly go wrong? It's gonna be a nice long drive. I really hope I can make it. I, it does feel like it's possible, right? So what we have down here is a simple build. This is kind of becoming a standard build of mine right now. We just wanna maintain sort of a trajectory towards this. This is a build. You can see how it is batteries in on the first one. Oh, I'm not gonna make it. I am not gonna make it. I'm just gonna make it down here then. Ah, it's close enough. Yeah, I couldn't get enough forward momentum. But that's okay. And over here. So what we have on this point is, let's look at the actual recipe. We can look at the recipe here. Electromagnetic control rods require status and high speed connectors. That's actually our electro, that's our alternate recipe. It's slightly better in terms of using status and status is something I built in my old base. So I, I'm not really sure I have a consistently high enough build for it. So I'm going to be building this one, getting the electromagnetic control rods. What are we using? It's electromagnetic. Blah, 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 blah. I'll try again that one. This is not it. And it is for the fuel then. Okay. So now we also have electromagnetic control rods here using the high speed connectors and the states as we build other places and requesting them in here. They're looking good. And this one's also looking good. What about this one? Is that fully saturated with? Yeah, it's fully saturated. Great. So this is has reached a steady state, which is really lovely. This one has just managed to unload the last of the status and Anna is now heading out to get another batch of that. How many uh, batteries do we have? 118. Perfect. So from here, this is uh, this is going to be a standard build basically going from these drone ports going in, mixing here into a middle and then merging out into, in this case, assemblers, but it could also be into blenders or it could be into uh, manufacturers. And that's basically how I want to build every single build and how I am going to build it. It's, it's really standardized. And you know me, I love my standard builds, but it also makes sense why I'm not going to have an episode that says build electromagnetic controllers because it's going to take a while to build, but it's not actually going to contribute anything new and, and exciting about it. So let's uh, move back to our hub because that's a good vantage point to jump out to the next location. This is our AI limiter build. Not something we really put a lot of emphasis into because uh, at this point we, when I built this, I actually found out that as soon as I went, I had the episode for building the AI limiter. And then as I had recorded it, I realized that I'd run out of plastic. And then I spent the episode uh, fixing plastic. It's a couple of episodes ago. Hope you remember that. And our beautiful drone hub. I absolutely love this drone hub. I should say that this is going to be my last episode of this Let's Play series. Unfortunately, well, maybe not unfortunately, but I can maybe, maybe you can also see why from uh, sort of the view of this. And do I want to fly out? No, I don't want to fly out, actually. I want to be more controlled about it. I want to use my tube system. Yeah, so the reason why I want to... This is going to be my last episode of this series is because you can see the builds are starting to look the same. And as we have built every single item, as you can see here, what is going to be the point? Are we, what we're going to see is that there will be some things that start running out and... Batteries need to be upgraded. Batteries can't be upgraded unless you upgrade aluminium. Aluminium can't be upgraded, so you're gonna to have to rebuild it. That means one of the next big projects is finding more aluminium ores and building like an absolute optimal build. And it's just gonna take maybe like 10 hours or so, but it's not gonna keep me any more new content because we built the recipes before and building 20 assemblers or building 10 assemblers is not gonna be functionally different content. And since everything has to be done manually, then it it's just going to be more of a grind. So I'm, I really wanted to build the elevator parts, but I think at this point, the effort to do that versus the sort of the, the, the need or the, 
mm, let's say the appreciation for it, the interest in it would be uh, diminishing. It would diminish really quickly if we now spent a couple of episodes just doing massive aluminium, massive plastic, massive, and then it'll sort of uh, lose its cool at some point. Right, so what we have here is this was our build from a bit of a time ago. This is our supercomputer uh, turbo motor build. Turbo motors are still struggling with cooling systems. That's just the way of the world. The cooling systems is kind of struggling, and it's been struggling because of aluminum. Right, right now, it's struggling because of aluminium casing. Coming back to the part that we need to scale up our aluminium. But what I have done then, or right, let's see, look, go a bit back here and look at our recipe we're still going to look at the nuclear fuel uranium fuel option here we do not have this part so let's this is the part we have now mined uranium we have put silica and sulfur into the network we have the quick wire that was over at the ai limited so we have all four items that goes into a manufacturer and then it makes uranium fuel cells that sounds good except as we get closer to the build hovering is not really an option Okay, apparently it's an option. These are not apparently very toxic. Can I even get close here? Okay, there's a bit of radiation level. Uh, I'm going to land on top of this one. Uh, there. Switch to my equipment. Alright, I got it. That's like a bit of radiation. So here we have the recipe. I have scaled these up to 50%. Otherwise, I could have just... Oh, no, I forgot I don't have... I don't. I can't fly anymore. Uh, I could have also built it with six of these, but I think it was just at this point easier. I built it with four, and then realized that yeah, you know what? It's only thirty-seven point five. That means it's uh, seventy-five. That means four of these are now currently taking one hundred and fifty per minute, which is only half of what we mine from up here. So I could double this easily, and then it would be much better. But it provides these beautiful encased uranium cells. And these encased uranium cells, at first I was thinking, you know what, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it into a drone hub and then I'm going to fly it over to another location. But that's not actually a great idea. See here we have the raw uranium coming in. Uh, but if I just did that, then it's like, th this one has only one purpose. And that purpose is... Try again. Uranium fuel cells, fuel rods. There, that's the only purpose. I'm going to use this recipe because I don't have enough of the quad crystal oscillators and i don't want to extend it i don't even have a beacon build and i don't want to build one so we're going to go up with this one even though it's going to be using a bit more so we'll be making 150 per minute of the encased uranium cells and that goes into this build which i would love to be able to see i don't know if i can get some kind of altitude up here without uh, flying it's just kind of sucky uh what are you carrying I'm just trying to see if there is any place that the radiation is just so damn high. Yeah, I know why that radiation is so high. <laughs> uh, yeah, our problem right now is the fact that I can't really give a good vantage point over this because it's toxic. This one. Okay, maybe from over here. I can try it though. I can try it. I know it hurts. It hurts. But what if I go up? Shouldn't it stop being so toxic? No, not really. All right. So you can see this build is exactly the same as the next build. And what it just is, does is take the stuff in and out. We'll go a bit closer and then I'm going to be going back into my hazmat suit. We're back in the hazmat suit. This recipe here is consuming. It's consuming 30. That's not enough. It needs to consume more. The other one was outputting 35. Seven. No, it was consuming 37. Let me just check. I want to make sure that it's the same speed here. It's producing... Oh, right. It's consuming 37.5 and it's producing 30. All right. So producing 30, that's great. That's what we're consuming at this point. Consuming 30. And we're now having 0 0.6. 0 0.6 means that each one of these can supply three uranium uh, or three nuclear power plants and with four of these that means i can support 12 nuclear power plants so what am i going to do here i don't want to have this stored in anywhere toxic so i put it into this storage but unfortunately the storage doesn't really do anything because i am consuming it 
at the rate it's produced. And this is also one of the things that I would like to mention about. Okay, we should just look at the beautiful nuclear power plant over here. And uh, and please don't comment about these are not being in line. This is like the biggest frustration is the fact that the water is not is shallow down here. So you can't just place them anywhere. It's just really weird. You have to wobble them back and forth to find spaces. But what I wanted to make is the nuclear power plant away from everything else so you can kind of get a sense of what it's going to be like. This is making it, putting it into the box, getting in here. We had a bit of stockpile before going into this location, but we probably potentially have a bit of an issue here. This one is using so many fuel rods. They need fuel rods, they need water, and they will then have the waste coming out. I don't even see the waste. Your any waste is there. So basically what I'm doing, I'm just doing a manifold build, which isn't really the ideal for this kind of thing. The reason why the manifold is not ideal is because it has to fill up the first one fi with 50 and then go down the line. You can see all the toxic fuel, toxic waste up here. Oh, come on. Get me up there. Ah, man, moving around without this. There we go. That's the toxic waste we're looking for. This might actually be a good place to stand for a, <laughs> a thumbnail, right? Uh, let's see. Yeah, so this one also filled up next one is not filled up as you can see this is down to 22 and the next one will then be down to 11 or thereabouts five yeah so this is the problem we are actually going to be in in it's going to be impossible yeah insert fuel this one is not even having any fuel that sucks yeah so we do have enough fuel to feed all of them but they are not getting down the line fast enough because my production is inadequate in all these locations and the funny thing is i've also completely run out of well it doesn't make sense to look here well it does because i have one yellow slug but i don't have any more <laughs> i don't have any uh, any more power power shots we've used simply all of the power shots for this build funny how this is not toxic all right well fine we'll just go up so basically what i've i've done here is you, this one, it takes uh, 30, 300 water per minute, and down here, I have decided that I, because I hate placing water, so if we scale this one up all the way to 100, you can make do with just having a single one for each. But of course, the disadvantage is that you uh, need to burn through a lot of the shots. I would probably wouldn't do this if I would continue to play, but since this was the last, is the last part of this, and I'm not going to use the shots for anything else, it seemed fine to just burn through. What is that? Uh, 36 shots for this build and as you can probably see these ones see this one is need to be placed on deep water and then like some random places that's fine but this is not fine this is fine this is not fine and I just build them out here in a straight line from this until we got it now the only thing we haven't addressed at this point is what are we gonna do about the waste so the waste in update 4 can actually be used for something it can be reprocessed into plutonium thingies which i am not doing but it would be something that could be done what i am doing though is going out here just simply the the, the true human solution to toxic waste you just kind of kind of ignore it and throw it out somewhere and of course this storage is probably not enough it's not enough for what i have it's been burning through it for a couple of hours but at the end of the day it's it's not enough and uh, i would need to get oh look at the radiation the radiation here is pretty good uh or bad depending on how you look at it yep and up here no none up there none up there none of there okay so that is the end one Oh, this one's misplaced. That's why. I was like, I did not get why it wasn't doing this properly. Oop. There. Now it'll be moving up to this location, which will be currently where we store things. Oh, you really don't want to have this in your inventory. Thank you very much. <laughs> uh, and this is basically how we solve our nuclear problem as uh, humanity does best just hide it somewhere for future generations to deal with it uh, what we could look at is um it's called something like non-fissile right non-fissile uranium that uses waste plus silica plus nitric acid plus sulfuric acid that that's a 
ton of things to make non-fissile uranium, which we can then plutonium encased cell uses some um, plutonium pellets. Plutonium pellets is taking the non-fissile uranium and putting more waste on top of it and then getting some plutonium pellets out of it. The plutonium pellets is going into Pluto. Plutonium cells with just a bit of concrete, just stamping into concrete, and then that goes into cells and goes finally into the fuel rods here. 30 of those to one of those. That's insane amounts. But if you really look at it, the, the only thing that's really difficult here is getting the nitric acid and the sulfuric acid. So those are the those are the items. If you build those and then, well, you have this and you can manage how to build it, then you can make basically free plutonium fuel, which is very nice, very nice. So that's... Uh, <clears throat> now, the, I think that I've built pretty much everything I wanted to build in this base. And from here on, what will be the next project? Well, we could do the nitric acid and, and plutonium fuel for sure, but it would just give us more power and power is not really a concern anytime soon. We could easily scale up this part here, but then it would be basically going back and scaling things up so that we can start working on. We're about 50 gigawatts of power. That's fair, fair enough. It's not the biggest that anyone has ever built, but it's, it's, it's okay for our base. So right now it's it's just mega base builds, and honestly, without blueprints and modules, I'm not going to do mega base builds in uh, Satisfactory. That's just not happening. Oh hello, hello toxicity. There you go. I'm just going to burn through it. Am I? Yeah, I kind of am. There. Whoop. And moving back towards our builds through from the from the waste to the nuclear power to the uranium fuel cells to the encased uranium cells and then uh, looking up at the uranium mining as well so mega base builds i don't think they are interesting to build in satisfactory at the current moment because it's just going to be stamping down i could do it on stream and maybe i will do it on stream but my next uh, big uh, gaming project and the reason why is i'm stopping this also is because i want to start playing some subnautica below zero this will be a series that runs over on twitch monday wednesday friday for as long as i find it interesting It'll unfortunately not make it back here on YouTube because I don't think I can make Subnautica content that is uh, interesting and engaging enough for YouTube. Maybe, maybe not. But I would recommend uh, if you are interested in watching me play uh, Subnautica Below Zero, then come on over to Twitch. It's Twitch TV slash Nilaus. And it's at 8 p.m. Central European time. I stream almost every day. And uh, it's going to be Monday, Wednesday, Friday. That will be Subnautica for now or some other non-factorial game that we'll uh, come up with. And uh, if you really want to watch the VODs afterwards, I also have another YouTube channel called Nilaus TV. And that's where I have all my live stream VODs. So maybe you don't know, but that's... I, I put all my VODs there so that you have them easily accessible on YouTube. I don't want to put them on my main channel because it'll sort of destroy the discovery of the channel. So they go on a separate VOD only channel. That's uh, So maybe you didn't know, but if you want to catch up on the live streams, but uh, the time that I'm streaming is not good for you, or you want to be able to fast forward through foundation laying or that kind of thing, then uh, do check out the VODs. Or actually want to see the, the exploration runs we've been doing as well. Anyway, I think this is uh, going to be the wrap up of this one. I will probably do a base tour of the base at some point in the not too distant future, but that's something I want to just let the Let's Play sort of breathe a bit. I hope that you've enjoyed it. I have certainly enjoyed it. I expected to rage quit uh, Satisfactory, but I think that the combination of making it on Twitch and then also be able to make a YouTube video out of it meant that it was uh, so much more fun for me because I got to enjoy the same build that I spent so much time on twice. And, and I, that makes it so much worth it. So anyway, that's going to be it for me. Thank you very much for watching. If you've enjoyed it, be sure to hit the like button. I hope you have... Uh, entice you to subscribe and i want you hope you will be following other stuff that i'm it's coming to my uh, youtube channel in the near future thanks everyone as always take care and you know it stay effective